guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jennifer and I post beauty and fashion videos. So if you like that type of content, definitely hit that big red subscribe button and join the family in 2024. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we have our first empties of the year. And this box is absolutely stuffed and fluffed. So if you wanna see what products I have used up and my thoughts on them, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna just start pulling these out in no particular order, but first up, of course, it's always in my empties. This is the Elemis Cleansing Balm, and if you have yet to try this, Add it to your beauty wish list for 2024 because the hype is real. It is incredible. And I feel like once you try it, you just can't use any other cleansing balm. This one in particular is the Summer Blue Scent and it smells incredible. It's not overly flowery. It's just fresh spring. It's beautiful. I love it. And recently, towards the end of summer, they launched a new scent, which is Green Fig. This one, I think, has quickly become my number one favorite from Cle Cleansing Balm from Elemis with Summer Bloom in spot number two. Same great formula, just a slightly different scent. And the fig in this is not overly sweet. It's just a hint and it's perfection. Next up is this Nest Fragrance Candle. This is in Autumn Plum. And this one to me is a really good transitional candle from summer to fall. It's got the sweetness from the plum, which kind of leans more towards summer, but it's still got the underlying notes of spices and just reminds you of fall. So to me, I love burning this one in the beginning of fall and to summer. It's just it's so yummy. Next up is this treatment cream from Skin Better. This is the Inner Fuse Treatment Cream Face and Neck. And this is kind of referred to as Botox in a Bottle. If you don't know anything about Skin Better, it was created by Jonah Shacknai, which if you are a true crime fan, that name should ring very familiar to you. Yes, they are one and the same. And he and his company basically created Disport and Restylane Filler. And the company and him created their own skincare line and it's called Skin Better. And I have been using this line since, I wanna say mid summer last year of 2023. So probably since like July, August. And to be honest, I have been absolutely loving this line. Now it is a medical grade line, so you can only purchase it through a doctor. It's not sold um, on Amazon, at Sephora. You can't even buy it on their website. You can look at the products on their website, but you have to be affiliated with a doctor. So if you are wanting to try this line, the easiest thing to do is go to their website, um, put in your location, and you can find a doctor's office near you that sells the products. Once you're registered, then you can buy through their website, no problem, but it is a medical grade line, and I love it because it is powerful, it is concentrated, but it does not irritate my skin, it doesn't give my skin any sensitivities, and I just absolutely love it. So that is the treatment cream from Skin Better. Next up, I have the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is always a repurchase for me, absolutely love it. Next is the Sol de Janeiro Spray number 68. This is probably my favorite scent from them. It is so yummy, and if you're wanting the Baccarat Rouge 540 fragrance without the price point, this is a great, great alternative. I will always be buying this one. Next up is another Skin Better product. Now, this is the Alto Advanced Defense and Repair Serum. This has your vitamin C, vitamin E, and it's also got 20 other antioxidants in it. So it's basically designed to give you brighter skin and I'm loving it. I'm on my second bottle now and I actually purchased the full size. It is so good. I absolutely love it. This product right here, I'm not gonna touch a whole lot in because I have a whole video coming to you soon 
featuring this product, but this is the Kerastase Resistance Serum Extension Yeast. And this line in general is designed to grow your hair longer. And according to Kerastase, you can actually double the speed of hair growth. So the average person grows their hair about a half inch per month. And according to Kerastase, they can bump it up to one inch per month with this line. I have the whole line. I've been testing it for three months and I have a video coming soon on my thoughts, opinions, and how it worked for me, but I will say this serum in general is amazing. It's very, very lightweight. You can put it on wet hair, dry hair. There is no greasy or oily residue. It absorbs right in. So if you're somebody with fine hair and you're scared of sc scalp serums because you don't want your hair to be oily, Kerastase takes the cake with their scalp serums. Next is the Refi Primer. This is the Glow and Sculpt Primer, and it's the trending one that has the kind of like roller thing on it. I really like this primer. I love the concept. And when I first got it, I loved it, but I feel like I never reached for it. I've never wanted to repurchase it. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just find that I much prefer the skin smoothing or blurring primers, especially for my textured skin. But again, nothing really wrong with it. I just don't reach for it. And this right here is the Lifeline Advanced Defense Complex. This is basically a moisturizer you can use at morning and night. I have done so many videos on Lifeline. I still partner with them from time to time. I love the brand. If you are new to my channel, Lifeline is a skincare company that produces products with non-embryonic human stem cells in it. So again, it's concentrated and it really truly works. I know a lot of plastic surgery offices have used this brand and I just absolutely love it. I still have my code with them, which is Jennifer 50 for 50% off. It is linked down below. And so if you wanna use it, you can. Um, but no pressure, but I have used and loved this brand for probably five years now. And the next product is the YSL All Hours Foundation with SPF 30. It's a luminous matte foundation. I love this because it's almost that thick, full coverage look without feeling cakey, heavy. It's very lightweight on the skin. I find it to wear it beautifully. And for me personally, I love that it doesn't break me out. It doesn't do anything weird to my skin. And I wear it in the shade MN4. So next is another candle from Nest. This is the Moroccan Amber Scent. And this is my favorite candle, especially in the fall. And I even burn this in the winter. I just love the spiciness of this candle. I even will sometimes burn it in the summer just because I love fall fragrances. But if I had to describe this candle, it's almost like a chai latte, or if you are from the east or south, it's like walking into Cracker Barrel in the fall. It's just that homey, subtle spice coziness. I love it. So this fragrance right here is so old, I don't even remember the last time I purchased this, and I will probably not purchase it again, but this is the old school Viva La Juicy fragrance. I don't even remember, again, when I purchased this, but this was a big scent for me when I was in my late teens, early 20s, and that ship has sailed those types of fragrances have sailed, so I will probably not be repurchasing that again. Next is another fragrance. This one is by Dior. This is the Blooming Bouquet, and I love this fragrance. For years and years and years, I was never a floral fragrance girly, and the one time I went into Sephora, probably six or seven years ago at this point, um, she gave me a sample of this and I decided to try it and wear it and I fell in love with floral fragrances through this scent. So this one to me is just one that I always have to have on hand. Next up is another product from Lifeline. This is their Elastin Booster and this helps produce more elastin and plump up the skin. 
I love this serum. This is the one serum that I always have to have on my skincare tower in my bathroom. I use it morning and night. I absolutely love it and cannot live without it. Next, we have the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is a holy grail staple for me. I usually always have two or three on back stock. I love this primer. I think it does an incredible job at smoothing out the pores. And next we have probably my favorite lip liner of 2023, if not 2022 and 23. This is by Patrick Ta and it is called She's Strong. It is the most perfect, beautiful, neutral brown and I have to repurchase it. I have yet to do so, but I love it. Another Hourglass product that I have to have on hand is the Airbrush Soft Glow Foundation. I wear it in the shade 6.5. Again, Hourglass knows how to do their complexion products. They are always so beautifully formulated. They make your skin look flawless. They give you great coverage, but it's not overly heavy, and I love this foundation. Of course, you know the concealer is a holy grail for me as well. This is the Hourglass Concealer, and I wear it in the shade Oat. I love it for a brighter, lighter under eye. I am still that girly. I love a good bright under eye, and this concealer is full coverage but it doesn't crease on me, and I am somebody that always has lines under my eyes. I love it. Next up is this mascara from Essence. Now you guys know I am an Essence girly. I cannot get enough about the brand. Love everything about them. This mascara I really didn't like at first. It's called Double Trouble. Um, as you can see, the kind of lettering has worn off and smudged quite a bit. I really did fall in love with the mascara after I used it several times, but here is what the brush looks like. So you can kind of see that it is curved and it has wider, longer bristles on one side and shorter, more condensed bristles on another. And so I just feel like for a brush, it's amazing. It gives your lashes the separation, the length, and the right amount of product. I love it. Next is another fragrance. This is Jadior by Dior. This is probably their most iconic and recognized fragrance. I love this so much. I purchased another one in a larger size. This one is my everyday fragrance right now. It smells fresh, floral, and very feminine. I love it. And I do have another fragrance in here. This is by Jo Malone. And this one is called Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So this is a very unisex scent. It's very clean. It has a hint of saltiness. I feel like men or women can wear this very universally. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's not overly powering. It's just fresh and clean. And I have this Sol de Janeiro number 40. I really like this one as well. This one to me is one that I would only wear in the summertime. Where is the other one, which is 68. I would wear this all year round. So this to me, I would repurchase, but it would be a summertime purchase only. Next is a moisturizer by SkinCeuticals. It is the Fido A Plus Brightening Treatment. It is a daily corrective moisturizer to enhance skin tone, clarity, radiance, and texture. And I don't know if you can really tell much, but it is a green tint. I have completely fallen in love with this moisturizer. It is more of a gel texture, but what I love about it is it's very hydrating. It makes your skin look super glowy, but because it's a gel, usually gels can be very sticky and this one is not. So I find it wears beautifully under makeup. It pairs well with a lot of my Skin Better and Elemis products. I have just been absolutely loving this. And because I have some natural redness kind of around my cheeks and my nose, I feel like the green tint really helps to disguise that. And before we jump into the very last product in my empties, I did want to quickly mention that everything I am mentioning in today's video will be linked down in the description box in case you wanted to check out anything further. But last but certainly not least is this little guy from Skin Better. Now this is a sample size, however, I do own the full size at this point and I'm about mm, halfway through it. 
I love this product. So this is the Skin Better Alpha Ret Overnight Cream. So you use this only at night and it does have retinol in it. But what they did was they created a special formula of retinol. So that way you get the benefits of a retinol, but you don't get the irritation, the sensitivity, the redness, the dryness that you typically get from a retinol. Again, this is a product you only use at night. And of course, you want to make sure that you're using your sunscreen during the day if you are using a retinol. But I have loved this product. It does tingle a little bit when you put it on, but I find that the tingle wears off pretty quickly, especially when you put your moisturizer over top. But this product has just changed the texture in my skin and I absolutely love it. So those are all of my empties for right now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.